Hey, in this week's vlog, we're looking at the evolution or evolution of a studio space, more specifically, my studio space. My studio is an absolute bomb site at the moment. People keep saying, Scott, your studio looks a wreck. It does, it is. There's a reason for it. But before we go into that, I want to show you how I've got to the point where I am now. So it started a few years ago. I jumped into a warehouse situation with some friends, didn't quite go to plan, and I ended up with this massive warehouse by myself. So here you can see me and some other friends building the offices. It was absolutely freezing in there. No heating. There was running water, but that was about the only immunity. And I have no DIY skills. So this was quite the learning curve, but I managed to get through it. We built the wall and the main purpose of the office was so that we had somewhere which we could quickly heat when we didn't have an enormous amount of work to do. This whole thing took me about three days to get sorted. It was a real pain and I was in there till two in the morning most days. Time went on and we just cracked on with work, started shooting, we we're doing a lot of food. I didn't have a proper kitchen at the time though, so it was mostly hot plates, microwaves, portable ovens, that sort of thing. But it, it did the job and I just didn't have the time outside of my work because each time we did a major thing it meant clearing such a big space and it just wasn't viable time-wise, finance-wise. I didn't have the time, but this studio was absolutely freezing. You'll see the stylist is wearing a hat. Now it's not uncommon for food studios to be freezing because they have to be cold anyway, but mine was particularly cold. Single glazed windows, concrete floor, concrete ceiling, which is 10 meters in the air, no heating. It was bleak. But as we moved on, painted the ceiling, had a massive heating unit fitted and here you can see what the kitchen in there as well everything started to take shape but we started hoarding props and you can see all these blue shells appearing in the background these are supposed to be going in the other section of the unit but my neighbor is several years behind moving out which is why i've ended up in a position where i'm just absolutely swamped with equipment there's so much stuff in here and I want a nice, clean, minimal working space, but I just don't have it. And because I work so often and I shoot every day and I build every day, there's always something going on. I can't put it all away in boxes because it needs to be easily accessible. So behind those white doors at the back of this shot here is where a lot of this stuff is going to end up. And then my day-to-day -day stuff will be nicely laid out, easy to get to. I can just pick up a camera, a battery. The workshop's staying as I've now finished it. But everything just needs to be a little bit more easily accessible without being so cluttered because at the moment everything's out because I need it but there's just not enough space for everything I've got in this real predicament now where I don't have the space to work in a nice environment it's just overly stressful And this of course is 2019 when I decided to make a 2019 thing out of toast. So this is the latest bit. I've got the plants in now, it's looking a bit nicer. I took all of those shelves out of this part of the studio because it was just too stressful having all that clutter around me. But now they're in my office behind me right now and that is, it's not as stressful but it's not nice. It's not a pleasant working experience and that's something that I need to really prioritize at the moment. From this angle, the studio looks pretty good. It looks organized. It looks like I know what I'm doing. However, come with me around here. It gets a bit more Celtic. And then we have this area. So come over here first. So this bit here is my kitchen. I've just dropped a plant pot and smashed it on the freezer, which is great. But this is all good. This is staying exactly how it is. We've got a random set of blue shelves with some lighting stuff on top and then props and wood at the bottom. This should not be here. These shelves here. This is all stuff that I can't find a place for. This also shouldn't be here. This area here, so this is my computer for flat lays. It's my flat lay rig up there. Storage of stuff that I don't know where to put above. Then is my workbench here. This needs to be made bigger. I'm launching a backgrounds business soon. You can see where I've run out of space and quickly tacked on more shelves but there's too much stuff here and some of it's got to be spread out, relocated and generally organized. Right, come into the office because this is where it gets really bad. All of this shouldn't be here. All of this shouldn't be here with me this way. All of this, none of this should be here. This should not be like this. 
This was never the plan. They shouldn't fall down like that. Those cables should not be organized like that. This cable monstrosity down here, th this should not be like that. Now, there's a couple of reasons why it's ended up the way it has. One of which is because of what's behind this background and my neighbor is moving out. So I'm gonna be taking over a whole heap of that space. So between now and Christmas, I'm gonna start preparing to move all of my stuff in the studio. It's not a simple, quick thing. I'm in here by myself most days, so I don't have help to do certain things. So some of it's gonna be a little bit inefficient, I think is the best way. Inefficient, inefficient. However, there's a load of things that I can start right away with. One is I need to fix every single light stand because whichever, wait, let me show you. Whichever dimwit designed these, they're perfectly round all the way along here. And the problem is I'm screwing something into it to hold it in place. And when it's balanced at the wrong angle, that item just slowly slips around. So on about 15 poles like this, I've got to flatten off a bit here so I can actually get my lights to attach. Fixed it, look at that. All in place, no longer slipping down. So to create this cable art masterpiece, all you need is some screws, raw plugs, a plank of wood, and these little tacks. So I've got all my cables organized and my plug sockets organized now. So I've got three plugs at the desk, each going to a multi-socket and they now have sort of like independent control of certain things. I've got a big tidy up here, I've sorted all the little drawers out, all the little trays. I've moved my charging board over here from in the office to out here, so it's with all the other electric bits. I've sorted out the top shelf. I've chucked a few little bits under here on a plank for the time being, but that'll be moved next door when I get the time to do it properly. And I've put my shoe shine here. So now that I've got a bit more space here, I can fit the backgrounds and paint them properly again, like I was doing before. I've not actually designed any for a while because the ones I have are selling really well business to business, but now I'm going business to customer. We're going to be making some new backgrounds. So the shelves are mostly sorted now as well. I've had a big tidy out, I've thrown out five bin bags full of junk. It hasn't cleared as much space as I'd hoped, but it has at least organized the space. And that's about as far as I've got with it so far. So I've not got it all done, I've got a good chunk done, but I thought it'd be interesting to document this process as I go. And the reason I'm documenting this is because I found a time lapse of us building the studio, which is one I included at the start where it shows the transformation. And that's the only real before and after or show me what I've done so far, bit of footage or, phot or photography even that I have. And in a few years time, I might find it interesting to look back on this. Hopefully along the way, some of the things I do might be applicable to you. It might be something you can implement in your studio, your home, your office, your desk, whatever it may be. Or you might just enjoy laughing at my bad DIY skills. If you're enjoying these videos, do let me know. If you wanna see more of my studio, more of what I do to the studio, how I'm building the studio, let me know in the comments below. This is really boring. Also let me know, I won't be hurt. <laughs>